I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! <laughs> Welcome everybody, it's Turbo Terramino here, and today's a great day because we are back playing The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, if that, uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, I cut her arm off mid-zombie bite to make sure that I saved her life. A life is, uh, much more important than a right hand. Although some people may argue about that, because they're right-handed, and they like doing things with their right hand, but... Yes, I cut that hand off. The Walking Dead! Oh my god! are saying you're gonna be fine. I can't make it without you. I have to let her go. I'm sorry. I love you. Kenny, damn it, man. Come on! No way, Clementine. No fucking right! Whoa, whoa, I can't get his hand. No, I'm gonna die! Damn! I'm going after Sarah! Oh, itchy yeah, trigger figure got shot. Kenny! Oh, gotta go to the right! Whoa, there's a person behind me! That. Get it. Oh man, we are surrounded. Yeah, get more on you. Be careful for Sarita's zombie because I didn't kill her. I'm gonna keep quiet. I gotta say nothing. Keep going. Mope was with me, but I, I can't do this alone. We can't stay here, Rebecca. We need to keep moving. Come on, Rebecca. We can do this. 
Look, the walkers are still moving toward the harbor strata. We can make it out if we stick to... Oh. I'm glad you're here. We can watch each other's back. I'll stick with you. Thank you. We need a clear path to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Uh, Anything? Or right here. Oh jeez. Right there. There. Jeez, that was tough. I kept disappearing. Damn it. Go back. Go back. Jane. Jane. Thank God. Stop. Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. Rebecca, come on. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just go. You guys are fine. Just go. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. You can do this, Rebecca. Come on. Cow catcher. Stay close. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. I've got to keep up pace. Don't fall behind. Oh, that one almost touched my face. Oh, jeez. Don't oh, push that guy out of the way. <laughs> the zombie fell. Interesting tactic, by the way. Let's go. If you unhinge the bottom jaw from the top jaw, I guess that that's true. They can't bite you. I mean, they can they can claw at you, but amid the ruins. You gotta keep up, Rebecca. I know. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? You know, I wonder if this is going to bring some exposition. If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Bring Sorry. some exposition about Krista's pregnancies. I don't know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look. I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. 
I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Yeah, I agree. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. Oh. I have to stop. Yeah, I'm let's sorry. stop. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just... Making conversation. What are you going to do with it? No. What do you mean by that? Do yeah, with seriously. What? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. It doesn't mean that we have you to stop trying. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Damn it. I know them hormones, Rebecca. It's hard to uh, not snap at people. What are those? We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. We're here, oh, we're shit. here. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can... Figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. Yeah, he's I know, a scary he guy. Probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. It just sucks. Kenny's been here so many times already. With his son and his wife. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. Somebody's gotta do something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I've seen Kenny like this before. Do you think he'll... I don't know... snap out of it? I think so. Eventually. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him? Okay. He's gonna scream at me, I know it, because he was not happy. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. The music's changing. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? 
That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. No, I'm never gonna leave you alone, Kenny. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. I thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Rebecca needs a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. I think Kenny gets mad at me no matter what. Because if I do nothing, then he, then I think his reaction is, well, Listen, I prefer you Rebecca, to do something than nothing. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. But I think no matter what, we're gonna have a rift between Kenny and Clementine after that scene. Because I want to say, like, if I if I kill the zombie, then I think she's she starts screaming about the bite or something, and then she gets bit. So I think it's no matter what. Look, Sarita doesn't I'm make it out alive. You. There's no real point in scouting ahead, and you should know that finding your friends that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before, and, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby, not mine or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew, but groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister, Jamie, had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut. 
on purpose. Oh, jeez. I, mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Whoa, you really were mean. What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer, we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Wow. Just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Yeah, we should check him out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Let's check his pockets. What you got in your pockets? Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Yeah, because we're using a lot of ammo. Find anything? Nothing we can use, right? Hmm. I guess they would be useful, in a way. To him, at least. Let's turn him over, or check his jacket pocket. What did we find? Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? Honestly, pretty much. You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Did jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> you always gotta make sure. Can never be too sure with these things. Yep, see? Here, give me a hand. Roll them over. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. That's right. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! God damn it! Oh, she's in there. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh, no. Oh, shit, that's Nick! It's Nick. Itchy trigger finger. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. I don't think I have anything, do I? I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> Come on, Clem. We need a little bit better aim than that. What are you, carbon meat? There we go. Poor Nick. He always had that finger that was a little too itchy. It's alright. It's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. That's right. No hesitation. I know. I've done this before. 
That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do nice this. Nice and clean. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave it there. We, uh, we went ahead and sounded like we found Sarah and Luke. We did definitely find Nick, and uh, it didn't end well for him there. So tune in next time. We're going to see what the heck's going on with Sarah and Luke over here. And thanks for watching.